people I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you all how to remove press on nails that were applied with this solid nail glue is actually that 28 day claim is actually true It's actually 28 days plus some so yeah I would highly highly recommend from BTR box to apply your press on nails I want to show you all how to remove these press on nails that have been on my nails for about six plus weeks so as y'all can see this is the new growth with all the nails and yeah, let's just show y'all how to get them off. I'm going to be doing an alternative soak off method today. I'm actually going to be using these little foil thingies that I got from Shein a while ago. Um, but the first thing I want to do is clip my nails down to size. You guys, I cannot for the life of me find my little nail clipper thingy that like clips the nails down quicker. But I do have my handy dandy nail clipper. Um, I wish I had the other one. But yeah, so first I'm going to go ahead and just take off all the nails I was trying to decide if I wanted to, yeah I'm gonna keep my my actual natural nail length because I want to show you all how long my nails grew out since then but essentially what you'll do is you go underneath and just clip off that press on nail and so just file it down the size okay so I'm gonna go through and do that real quick I want to go ahead and try to file down the press on nail pretty low so that when I soak this off it'll be fairly quick so I am going to use my Melody Susie drill and um, yeah I've really been loving this drill it's really nice portable rechargeable so I'm gonna use this drill I think I want to do my five and one carbide bit for this Let's see. all right so I'm gonna go ahead and use my five and one carbide bit and I'm gonna file down this press on nail as low as possible. This step is actually optional. If you guys wanted to, you could just go ahead and just, if you wanted to, just file off the, the shiny layer and then go ahead and put the soak offs on and let them soak for about 15, 20 minutes. But I want this process to be fairly quick. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and file down most of the nail and then do my soak off. So if you all have seen any of my old videos, I normally do like the rice method for soaking off, which is very, very effective and very quick. Um, but I just wanna save even more time and try this method out. I'm going to bring out my handy dandy dust collector here, okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and file down. I'll just show you guys, maybe just on one nail, how far I file it down and then how I wrap it, and I'll do the rest off camera. This is what the nails look like after they have been filed down. Um, I think I filed them down low enough. Um, and this dust collector, you guys, is also from Melody Susie. Absolutely love it. As well as, like I said, this uh, this e-file pen. This is slowly becoming one of my new favorite drills because it's just so small and compact and very powerful. I do have discount codes for both of these products. I am going to leave them linked down in the description box below. But yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and hop into removing the rest of these nails again this is going to be an alternative soak off method for me i wanted to try to use these i haven't actually used these just yet so i wanted to give them a go um so i'm gonna take out five of them and go ahead and do my right hand and one of the things i love about these is that they're already pre-cut and ready to go right so it has like a little bit i like just like a little cotton pad or lint-free wipe here so all you do with this is you just soak this in some acetone um, and this is really just a, a pre, pre, pre-made method to just using foil and cotton balls. But yeah, you just soak this little part in acetone like so. And then you, you put your finger in it. You want to make sure that your fingernail is fully saturated with the acetone part. You rub your finger around it. At the end, you flip it, turn it inwards, and you just let it soak. So... I'm gonna let this soak for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna go through, that's all the fingers. And then I'll go ahead and remove it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all again. You just saturate this little cotton part with acetone. You put your fingernail on that cotton pad that's saturated with acetone. You wrap around, secure it at the top, okay?
Alrighty, so it's been about 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And as you all can see, these nails are just about ready to come on off. I'm gonna go ahead and get my little paper towel here. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just scrape, scrape the press on nail right off. And just like that, y'all, it's done. Okay. That was a really quick removal. Okay. And so, yeah, that's how you remove press on nails with the foils. I'm going to go ahead and do one more finger here. As you all can see, it's pretty much ready to go. And it just essentially pops right off of the nail, which is awesome. And if it feels like it's not ready to come off just yet, then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and soak that finger a little bit more. So the tip of this nail seems like it's not ready to come off just yet. So then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just put the finger right back in there and let it soak off a little bit more like so. Do the same with this hand. There's still some on there. I'll just put this back on, let it soak a little bit more. And then same thing. And so yeah, you'll go ahead and just repeat that process on the other hand. And then yeah, y'all, your personal nails are all taken off. So I'll go ahead and finish scraping all this off and I'll be back with the finished look, okay? Alrighty, so this is what my nails are looking like after the press-ons have been fully removed. So as you all can see, there's no damage to my actual nail. And all I did, like I said, was I soaked them off with those foils and scraped it off. And I will link all the items that I used in today's video down in the description box below. And so yeah, y'all, um, this is just another method that I have of removing press-on nails. I do have a few other methods um, that I've shown on my channel. One using rice to remove them, and then one using, I think, hot water to remove them and then also just filing off if you guys haven't seen those videos i'll go ahead and link them down in the description box below but yeah let me know what is your favorite method of removing press on nails and how long do your press on nails usually last i'm kind of curious about how much wear you all can get out of yours but yeah i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day Bye.